All right, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to class today. My name is Teacher Chad, and this hour we are going to be talking about making a grocery list. Okay. Uh, our main focus this hour will not be about uh, knowing what an apple is or what, knowing what a pear is. Okay, or meat. Okay, but uh, we're going to be talking about quantities. All right, and what we call certain items in in English. Okay, like a jar, okay, a jar of jam or a jar of jelly, okay, and uh, other types of quantities. So we'll go through uh, those vocabulary words, and we'll also uh, go through a dialogue and talk about some other phrases that we can use in English. Okay, all right. So the link to the class is right here. Let me put it in the chat box. All right. Uh, so it's in the it's in the chat box now in both the Google and the uh, Verbling chat. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Andrea, how are you? Hi, uh, fine. And you? I'm doing good. How was your weekend? Um, more or less. <laughs> sure. And what uh, what did you do? Did you uh, stay at home or did you go out? Uh, no, I work. <laughs> okay. I work. And, I work. And, <laughs> and uh, where do you work? What's your job? Um, oh, um, concursos <laughs> para de una constructora. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. <laughs> um, okay, so it is. Um, pero concursos de qué? Eh, para ganar obras en el Distrito Federal. Hmm. Son como presupuestos. Ajá, exactamente. All right, so they, oh. Ah, How would we say that? Um. <laughs> uh, what would that be? Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, so you had to week, you had to work during the weekend? Yes, Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> oh man, that's never fun. <laughs> no. All right. Well, did you get to rest uh, on Monday then? Did you have to work on Monday as well? Yes, sí. <laughs> Oh man, so working all the time. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, it may just be you and I here in class. Uh, oh, okay. we got another person in. Hi there, Igor. Yes, hi. Hi, Igor. How you doing? Doing very well. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you again. Yeah, thank you. All right. How about uh, Mario? Hey, Mario. Um, make sure that your uh, that your microphone is not muted. Uh, I still cannot hear you. Nope, still can't hear you. Let me uh, show you what you can do, okay? So uh, take a look here on, uh, on the screen. All right, so uh, what you want to do is come up here where it says where you see a microphone. Okay, if this microphone is red, that means that I cannot hear you. Okay. Uh, also, you want to uh, take a look at your settings. Okay, and uh, make sure that you have the correct microphone selected. Okay, as well as your uh, as well as speakers. Okay, so you have your settings here, all right, and your microphone uh, uh, mute button there. Okay, so that those are the two things that you want to uh, uh, check out. All right. So uh, keep working on that, Mario. Uh, I'd, I'd love to have you participate, okay? All right, you guys. Uh, go ahead and open up uh, the link to, uh, to our class. It's there in the chat box. All right, let's see. We also have uh, Zoram. 
How are you, Zoran? Zoran, can you hear me okay? Oh, yes, I can hear you now. Hello, Hansi. Awesome. Hi there, how are you? I'm fine, thank you for asking. Great, good to see you again. Okay, you guys, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. The, uh, the page, okay, the page looks like this. Okay, and we are going to be talking about making a grocery list. All right, now, uh, what does the word grocery mean? Food. Okay, yeah, food. Food. Now, uh, when we say that we need to make a grocery list, okay, we are talking about food, but also other household items. Okay, so things that you may use to make food. You may need to buy oil, maybe uh, some butter, okay, um, as well as uh, maybe some soap, okay, to wash your hands, okay, things like that. Um, so a grocery list um, isn't only food items, but it's items that, uh, that the house needs, okay, so it's all sorts of items that are there. Okay, uh, but we use the word grocery, uh, the, like grocery list, because it encompasses everything. All right. Okay. So let's uh, let's uh, take a look here. Uh, we are going to scroll down. Okay. So scroll down past page number one. Okay. Past page number two, and we are going to go to our vocabulary words. All right. Here we have a list of uh, a list of words. Uh, a list of words here on the left hand side and these are quantities okay these are quantities all right now we need to match the quantity with the item okay the item is on the right hand side all right so um, let's see uh, Wen Lu Wen Lu how are you uh, I'm fine thank you Great. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, All right. Uh, let's go to Andrea. Andrea, uh, please read yeah. number one. All right. Read number okay. one and tell me which item this matches to. Okay. Two. Toothpaste. Good. Good. So, yes. Tube. And this is toothpaste. Okay. All right. So... Let's take a look here. Okay, toothpaste. Now, class, we would call this a tube. A tube of toothpaste. This here is a tube, one tube. Okay? Now, if you have to get uh, many okay, many tubes, all right? We would not say tubes of toothpastes. Okay, we only add the S to tubes. Okay, so it's tubes of tubes instead of tubes of toothpastes. Okay, we only have the S on Hello. tube. Okay, very good. Okay. And uh, yes, Mario, I can hear you now. Okay, great. Awesome. How you doing, Mario? I'm doing great. Thank you. Excellent. Where, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia, great. Good to have you here. Okay, thank you. All right, and Jorge, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Great, good to have you here. Jorge, where are you from? I'm from Peru. From Peru, excellent. Yeah. All right, welcome to class, you guys. Uh, so, uh, we are talking about uh, the grocery list today. And uh, Mario, uh, can I have you uh, do me a favor? Okay. Um, can you uh, can you mute your microphone until it's your turn? Because we can hear the TV uh, okay. in the background there. All right. Okay. Call on that. Awesome. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So tube of toothpaste. All right. And we pluralize tubes. Tubes of toothpaste. Let's go to number two. All right. And let's go to Igor. 
Yeah. Dozen of eggs. Good. Dozen eggs. Dozen eggs without of. Yeah, you can say dozen. Yeah, a dozen, uh, a dozen, uh, dozen eggs. We wouldn't say a dozen of eggs. Okay. Okay. We would say a carton, a carton of eggs. Okay. So uh, we have uh, we have a, a difference here. So let me show you. Twelve, twelve eggs, dozen. Uh -huh. Yeah. So a dozen is twelve exactly. Okay. So this would be a dozen eggs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six times two, twelve. Okay, no, that there is are twenty-four one dozen. eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I see okay. All right, so uh, a dozen eggs. That is twelve. Now, uh, Igor, we can also call this a carton, a carton of eggs. Okay. All right, so that's when we could use uh, the preposition of there. Okay, so um, uh, we have. One dozen eggs. Okay, so a dozen eggs or uh, a carton of eggs. Uh, okay. How to spell? Uh, what do you mean a uh, carton? How to spell it? A uh, carton. I I just wrote that there in the chat box. Okay, it's under a dozen. Okay, now. Now, when we are, when we pluralize, okay, uh, and we are talking about dozen, okay, uh, I need to get a few dozen eggs, okay. I need to get a couple dozen eggs. All right. So we wouldn't say dozens eggs. All right, and say three uh, three dozens eggs. Okay, we would say three dozen eggs, seven dozen eggs. Okay, or a few dozen. Okay, that would mean three. All right. So uh, with dozen, okay, we're not adding any s's anywhere. Okay, you have one dozen. You have five million dozen. All right. It, we aren't adding any s's. Only a number. Can we okay. apply word dozen to other items? I mean, uh, only dozen eggs exist, or something else? Dozen or. Uh, um, doesn't. Uh, if you have 12 of something, if you oh. have uh, something that comes in a package of 12, yeah, you can say, yeah, they come in, uh, they come in dozens. Okay. Okay. So that would mean they come in uh, packages of 12 and that would be just fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, or you can say, yeah, there was about a dozen of us, a dozen of us at the park. Ah, there was about 12 of us. Okay, so uh, we don't pluralize dozen. We add a number. Okay, one dozen, five dozen. Okay, mm -hmm. no, no s's, no extra s's. Five dozen eggs. Okay, now if we talk about a carton. Okay, this as well, you guys. Uh, this would be a carton of eggs. Okay, so a carton of eggs. Uh, this here, okay, as well, okay, even though it's flat, okay, this is a, a, a carton of eggs as well. There's 20 eggs here, okay, that is a carton of eggs, all right, now, uh, when we pluralize carton, are there 25 there? I thought I saw uh, four by five. No, and uh, that by five by five, I saw. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Five and, uh, by five, twenty-five. In second yeah. picture, in second picture. Yeah, five, five by five. There you go. Cool. Um, yeah. So this would be a uh, a carton of eggs as well. Okay. So when we pluralize carton, okay, uh, three cartons of eggs. All right. We then uh, add an s to carton. Okay, and we add of there as well, three cartons of eggs. Okay, so that's how we would uh, we would use that. Okay, uh, very good. Let's go to Jorge. Jorge, uh, number number yes. uh, three, please. Uh, it can, could be a uh, uh, tuna can. Can. Yes, very good. A can of tuna. Can of tuna. All right, right here, a can of tuna. Let's look at this. 
Um, can of tuna. Mmm, I love tuna. Tuna is delicious. All right, so uh, tuna being fish. Okay, a can of tuna. Now, class, what else can we purchase in cans? Beans, for example. Yeah, there you go. Beans come in, uh, in uh, a can. Okay, what so, else can we purchase? Meat. What's that? So, uh, okay, soup. Okay, so meat. Meat. Uh, now, uh, Zoran? Uh, uh, jam. Jam. Fruit jam. Fruit jam. Jam would not come in a can. Okay? I'll explain. They can be, yeah. Uh, yes, they, they come in a jar. All right? And we'll oh. we'll talk we'll talk about uh, yes it should be soup and not soap <laughs> very very good uh, Andrea it is uh, soup and not soap um, and yes yeah, so um, jam comes in a jar so we'll talk about the difference in the, these type of uh, of uh, of units okay so uh, jam comes in a jar uh, cans uh, what else comes in a can you guys. Uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh. Yeah, fruits and vegetables. Okay. Now, all of these that we're talking about are called canned preserves. goods. No, okay. preserves? Canned, uh, uh, yes, you could call them preserves, okay, but they are canned goods. So we have beans, vegetables, corn, um, tomatoes, okay. These are canned goods. So when you're in the store and you are shopping, uh, you can look for a sign that says canned goods. All right? And that, that's, where, that's where you would buy um, things like uh, your vegetables or, uh, uh, or fruits, things like that. Or you would, you would look for canned Okay, you'd look for canned vegetables or canned fruit. All right, and they'll have a they'll have a sign, they'll have a sign up top that says canned vegetables or canned fruit, okay, or it may just say canned goods. All right, and that's how you know where to buy those items. And yes, as well, Andrea, kitten food or cat food comes in cans. All right, very good. So yes, those are the cans, and they are made of metal. All right, very good. Let's go to Mario. And Mario, okay. please read number four. Number four, bar. Uh, I don't know, could it be... Uh, let me read. Could it be... <laughs> peanut butter? Um, nope. Uh, uh, peanut butter would, uh, would come in... Uh, in uh, in another type of uh, unit, okay. Now I'm looking ah, for something okay. that you would use to clean your body. Soap. There you go, soap. Okay. okay. So we would call this a bar, a bar of soap. So let's take a look here. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, a bar of soap. All right, you guys, so we wouldn't call this a stick of soap. All right, this would be a bar, a bar of soap. Okay, just like this. Okay, now what else, what else can we purchase in a bar? Um, uh, some kind of chocolate. Yeah, there you go. That's where my mind goes when I think of bar, right? A bar of chocolate. Okay, yes, mmm, very delicious. <laughs> All right, a chocolate bar. Okay, oh, this looks very delicious right there. I like that, yummy. Okay, so um, so a bar of chocolate. What else can we buy in a bar? How cereal bars. Okay. Okay, so let me show you what a cereal bar would look like. Okay. 
Okay, a cereal bar just like this. Okay, so uh, maybe they have some uh, some uh, um, uh, some uh, some nuts, some rice. Okay, some uh, some chocolate sometimes, um, things like this. So that these would be uh, cereal bars. Okay, that's the, that would be the name. Or you could also call it an oatmeal bar. Okay. Okay. So these are these are another item that would be sold as a bar. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Let's go to number five, and this is for Wenlu. Okay. Uh, no, I think. Uh, it's uh, a loaf of bread. Excellent job, Wenlu. A loaf of bread. H down below. Okay, loaf of bread. Okay, now, class, this goes for all loaves. Okay, every single type that's out there. Okay, um, so um, even if it is not cut like this, Okay, this would be a loaf of bread. Okay, this one here, with it being cut, this is a loaf of bread as well. Okay, so we call uh, these uh, units of bread, these are loaves of bread. Now, let's talk about the plural form. Okay, loaves. All right, so I wrote that in the chat box, loaves. So when you um, uh, when you uh, uh, pluralize that, the uh, the F turns to a V, then we add ES. Okay, so we have one loaf of bread, and we have two loaves. All right, and we add the V there, loaves, loaves of bread. There's only loaf of bread, or there's loaf of something else um nope yeah loaf of bread okay now you can call someone a loaf okay. all right if you if you say dude quit being such a loaf all right okay. that means that you you sit around and you don't <laughs> do anything all day okay it means that you're lazy okay Okay, so if you if you say my my uncle Ted is such a loaf, he doesn't do anything all day, and then he complains that he never has any money. Okay. All right, so a loaf. Okay, uh, but yes, uh, other than that, uh, we use loaf when we're talking about bread. Okay, only loaves of bread. Okay, very okay. good question. Okay, all okay. right, you guys, let's go to our next one here. Whoops. Here we go, this one. Um, all right, so jar. Jar. Uh, Jeez, sorry, uh, I pronounced that one for you. Go ahead, uh, Zuran. Uh, go ahead and read six and tell me where what one that uh, connects to. I think it's a jar of peanut butter. Good, yes, a jar of peanut butter. All right, now, let's look at uh, a jar. We were talking about this a little bit earlier. Okay, so a jar. What is uh, what are some of the differences between a jar and a can? Mm, the material. Okay, the material. What's the difference in material, Zoran? Uh, I think uh, uh, jars are made of glasses and uh, cans are made of metal. Okay, so glass, uh, glass and glass. metal. Um, these uh, these are also made of uh, plastic. So jars can be made of plastic and metal. All right, and or sorry, jars are made of plastic and glass, oh, and yeah. uh, um, cans are made of metal. Uh, okay. Jar, what jars else? What are is it? Lucid. Uh, can I see? Uh, say that one more time. Lucid okay. because. Uh, see the inside uh, side. See the oh, inside. Oh, okay. All right. So jars, jars are um, uh, are see through. Okay. Yes, you can you can see through the uh, uh, the material. Okay. All right. Uh, in in some cases, not all the time. 
Okay, but in some cases you can. Uh, Andre Andrea has a, an interesting point as well. Okay, the top. Okay, the top of a jar comes off and you can put it back on. Okay, with a can, with a can, once you pull it off, you cannot put the, the top back on the can. Okay, these screw back on. Uh, sometimes with a jar, they would pop back on. Okay, so pop, okay, it would push back on. All right, so uh, jars have removable, okay, mm -hmm. removable uh, lids that you can uh, put back on. Cans do not. All right, now what else can we buy? Uh, yes, what else can we buy that are in jars, you guys? What other items come in jars? Marmalade. Okay, so uh, marmalade, we would call that jam. Jam and jelly. Okay. Okay. Okay, yes, Nutella. <laughs> Nutella comes in uh, in a jar. All right. What what else can we buy in a jar? How about pickles? What? Pickles. pickles. Let me let me show you what pickles are. Once you see them, you go, "Oh yeah, I pull these off of my hamburgers all the time." Okay. Yeah, these here are pickles. Okay, so pickers, pickles are sold in jars just like this. Okay, pickles. All right, how about olives? Olives are sold in jars. They can also be sold in cans. Okay. All right, uh, very good. Um, and uh, when we talk about jars and we pluralize it, okay, Okay, jars of peanut butter, jars of jam, jars of pickles. Okay, I need to pick up five jars of pickles for the party on Saturday. All right? Okay, let's go back up to the top to Andrea. And Andrea, uh, let me have you read number, number uh, seven, please. Okay, box, Syria. Okay, good. Cereal box. Okay, a box of cereal. All right. Um, so let's look up uh, a box of cereal here. Whoops. Okay, so box of cereal. And uh, um, what else? What else can we buy in boxes, you guys? Well, pizza maybe. Chocolates. Okay, pizza. Yeah, a box of pizza. Okay, yes, chocolate comes in uh, in uh, a box as well. All right, uh, what else would come in a box? Uh, for wash clothes, uh, what is okay. that? Uh, that's, that's called, uh, um, uh, uh, it would be... Uh, uh, Oh, chemical this it's a detergent it's yeah, a detergent, detergent. Yeah. goodness great forgot how to, forgot what the word was detergent like this detergent yeah okay okay good yes matches come in uh, in boxes as well okay so if you need to start a uh, a fire if you have a a stove that's a gas stove okay you need to buy some matches and this to be called a box of matches. Okay, even though it's small, that would be a box of matches. Um, who uh, who buys their their milk in in a box? I buy one liter boxes of milk. No. Right? Instead of instead of uh, do you how do you purchase your milk, uh, uh, Igor? In my country, is um, um, usual uh, milk is uh, what is salt? Yeah, what. Are, is, uh, uh, sold, sold. Is sold in uh, plastic uh, bag. Uh, bag, yeah, plastic uh -huh. kind of bag. Yeah, it, here in Costa Rica, they sell them both ways. So, uh, mm -hmm. um, a box of of milk. Okay, they sell it. Uh, they sell it. 
Uh, it kind of looks like it's not one of these tall ones. It looks like a leader. So one one liter of milk. Let's see. Nope, they're not going to show it to me, are they? All right. So, oh, here it is. So it's it looks a little bit like this. Okay, so they sell a liter of milk like this, um, and then uh, also in a in a bag. Okay, uh, in the United States, it's uh, it's typical to buy it in gallons. Okay, and so we buy we buy milk in uh, one gallon or half gallon quantities. Uh, this here would be a half gallon bottle. Okay, and it's a, it's typical to buy either a half gallon or a gallon, depending on um, how big your family is. Okay, so if you have a smaller family, okay, or if you're just one person, you buy one half gallon of milk. All right. Okay. Um, Chad, uh, so, yeah. One question. Sure. Uh, that gallon. Uh, what's different between that gallon? For example, uh, I bought I bought buy. Uh, the yogurt, and uh, I thought that, that was a jar, yeah. but uh, I think that is now a gallon. The difference um, between jar and gallon. Oh, okay. So this here, that what I was showing you. Okay, a gallon is a measurement. Oh, okay. 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 So when I say a gallon of milk, it it is not referring <clears throat> to the uh, to the container. Okay, this is the measurement, a measurement of milk. It's one gallon of liquid. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, it would be like one liter. Well, how right? do you call to that container? Uh, this is a gallon, okay? The container would be a, uh, um, oh, goodness. How would we call that? Maybe a plastic. <laughs> uh, see, it's not, it's not a bottle. It's not, not a bottle. A jar. It's not a jar. Okay. Um, it would be a container, really. Um, okay. Maybe a jug. Yeah, a jug would probably be the, the correct word for it. So let me write that here. Uh, a jug. Okay, a jug of milk. So if I look up uh, a jug, this is, uh, this is what you'll see. Okay, so um, this is like a jug or a pitcher. Okay, so this is what it would... Uh, um, most likely be like okay a jug okay okay uh, yes but uh, it's typically called a gallon a gallon of milk and but it's again it's not referring to the container itself all right okay. very good all right let's uh, let's see uh, let's go to Ibrahim how are you Ibrahim hi teacher how are you I'm good I'm Great. Uh, good to have you in class again. Uh, Ibrahim, let me have you read our, our last number here, uh, number eight, please. A uh, bottle. Okay, a bottle. Now, uh, of the words here on the, uh, on the right, what, uh, what is purchased in a bottle? Um, so, I don't know. Fish. Fish. Okay, uh, who's saying dish? Dish. What's the dish? Okay, dish. All right, let me show you guys. So, dish detergent. Feria. Who knows feria? Uh, I, I don't know what feria is. No, this is the um, the the most popular in the, our countries, Europe countries. Feria. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Feria. yeah uh, Okay, Very popular. So, uh, it's on TV uh, publicity every day about uh, this. <laughs> this All right. Yeah. So this this here would be um, dish detergent, and uh, let me show you what a dish is. Okay. So these here are dishes, you guys. So all these dishes. So uh, what we use to eat on, we call them dishes. These are all being, um, uh, they need to be washed with dish detergent or dish soap is another word we would call that. Either dish detergent or dish soap. Okay. Um, and uh, so what else, 
what else, guys, can we buy in a bottle? What else comes in a bottle? Uh, uh, juice. Juice, yes. Yeah. Bottles of Beer. juice. Beer. Alcohol. <laughs> Alcohol. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, alcohol, uh, wine, all right, water. water. Okay, uh, what else can we buy in a bottle? Pepsi. Water. Pepsi. Yeah, water. Okay, soda. Soda <laughs> comes in a bottle. Coca-Cola. All right. Yeah, all these uh, all these different uh, different items that uh, that we can use to um, uh, to uh, drink. All right, as well as cleaning items. All right, so we have a bottle of dish detergent. Okay, um, we have we also have a, a, maybe a bottle of um, like pine saw to clean the floors. All right, so uh, pine saw. Uh, uh, let's see here. Liquid, uh, liquid seasoning. What? Oh, liquid seasoning. Okay, good. So yes, uh, this here is pine saw. You use it to clean the floor, and it smells very good. Okay, liquid seasoning. All right, yeah, like um, like soy sauce. Okay, meat sauce. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, as well as oil. Oil, cooking oil comes in uh, a bottle as well. Okay, cooking oil, like olive oil or all of the other different types of oils out there. Okay, all right, so there's a, there's a lot of different things that come in bottles. And the detergent that make your clothes uh, whiter, what is the name for this detergent? Uh, that's called bleach. Bleach, okay. Okay, uh, bleach like this. All right, and... So there's uh, there's uh, you know uh, clothes detergent, but then if you, if you are looking to uh, make your clothes white, nope, not the band or not the thing. So clothes bleach. Okay, and uh, this uh, this as well. This would be sold in a jug. Okay, this is one gallon, one gallon jug of bleach. Okay, like Clorox. All right. Okay, okay you guys. Uh, any any questions so far? No. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, very good. Let's uh, go up, and we're going to take a look at the dialogue. So go up to page number one. And let's start here at the uh, at the very beginning. Uh, and let's see here, Igor. Uh, Igor, let me have you start off. And uh, we're we're only going to read one line each. Okay. So Igor, please uh, please read Luth, Ruth's line here at the very beginning. I'm out of sugar and flour. I'm going to the grocery store. Can I get anything for you? Okay, Jorge, please read the next line with Anna. Okay. Oh, let me think. I need some bread. All right, very good. Uh, Mario, please continue with the next line. How much do you want? All right. And Wen Lu, please continue. I'd like two loaves. Very good. And Zuran? Do you need anything else? All right, Andrea. No, I think that's all. Do you want me to play to pay you now? No, that's okay. Uh, you can uh, pay me uh, when I get back. All right, and Igor, uh, finish off the dialogue, please. Igor, uh, please finish off the the uh, last uh, two lines here with Anne and Ruth. Anna and Ruth. Okay, let's go to Jorge. Jorge, please uh, finish up the uh, the dialogue here. All 
All right. Um, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I can. Yeah. Okay, Mario. Mario, let me have you uh, finish up this uh, dialogue here, please. Okay, thanks. See you later. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, you guys, uh, do you have any questions about any of the words used here in this dialogue? Mm. No. Flo flour? Is this okay. Uh, flour, right here. Uh, this would flour. be uh, sugar and flour. flour. Now, uh, it is a different flour, though. Okay, so uh, the first flour... It's like this, flowers. All right, they're pretty lovely flowers. Okay, now when uh, when we cook, we bake, we use flour. Okay, we use flour to make bread. Can you remark the difference between the pronunciation? It is, flour exact and fl it is exactly the same. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah. So uh, the, I should the, I should uh, know the word by the context. I I, I suppose. Yep. Yep. Um, and uh, and usually, um, uh, usually if you go to the store to buy a flower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm going to the store to buy a flower. A flower, because mm -hmm. it's one well, flower. I mean, I mean the pretty one. I, yeah, good. Okay, so if I say a flower, okay, I'm talking about the pretty one with the, you know, things or whatever, right? So uh, a, a pretty thing, okay? If I say I'm going to the store to buy flour. Okay. Some flour. Okay, some flour or, uh, a, or a flour is all. No article, just flour. Okay, that is, that is. That's the baking flour. If I say some flour, okay, and I do not put an S at the end, that is the baking flour. If I say some flour, that means the pretty flowers. Okay? So flour is, uh, is non-count. Okay? So flour. All right. So that those are some some indicators, uh, not only about um, uh, what's going on in the sentence, okay, or in the story, but also um, uh, other words that we use with uh, with flour and uh, and flour. Okay. Okay. Good question. All right, man. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Any any other questions uh, uh, about the dialogue that we read? Mm, the, do I need to clarify a uh, loves of bread or we loves uh, is understood that it's bread? Uh, uh, loves is it's understood that it's bread. Okay. Okay, you could uh, you could say yeah, I need to buy a couple of loaves. All okay. right. It's typical though. It's typical to say bread. I need to buy a couple of loaves of bread. It's typical to say that instead of just saying loaves. Okay. All right. Um, it's also uh, even uh, more typical to leave out loaves and just say some bread. Okay. okay. So that that's typical as well. Okay. Any uh, any other questions, you guys? No, teacher. Thank you. All right, very good. Okay, so we are going to analyze these uh, these phrases in bold black, okay? So scroll down to page number two. All right, and we'll go to, uh, let's see, so Mario read our last line there. So Wen Lu? Yeah. Wen Lu, please read this first group of sentences. Uh, I'm out of sugar and flour. I don't have any sugar or flour. I need some sugar and flour. Okay, good. So, I'm out. All right. So, when we say I'm out, I'm out of, uh, of something, okay, or out of, that means that you do not have that item anymore. Out. Out of now, we can use out of in in uh, different ways. Not only with food. Okay, I'm all out of love. 
all out of love. That means that I don't have I don't have a girlfriend anymore. Okay, my girlfriend left me. I I don't have love uh, in my life. Okay, can I'm we say I'm out of ideas? I'm out of ideas. Yes. Okay, you can definitely say that. I don't have any more ideas. Okay, the printer. Oh man, the printer's out of paper. We can't print anything right now. The printer, the printer is out of paper. My laptop, my laptop is out of battery. Is out of battery. It will no longer work. Okay? So we can use out of in many different uh, in different ways. Not only with food, okay, but out of ideas. Okay? Out of love. Okay, no more love. Okay? Out of paper. The machine is out of paper. Okay? Not just humans. Okay? Uh, I'm not o only out of something. A thing can be out of something as well. All right? Okay, so this is a really good phrase to use when you want to say you don't have something. Okay? Um, all right. And so looking at, looking at these phrases here, I'm out of, don't have any. I need some. These are all pretty, uh, uh, pretty typical. We use these quite often. All right. Now, uh, let's uh, here with uh, I need. Okay, can you guys think of another way uh, to say I need some bread or eggs or soap or anything like that? How else can we say I need? I need something. I want. I uh, I want yeah um I think I want some more okay I would like I would like some okay good what else could we say I must have uh, <laughs> I I must have that that's a little a little strong but yes you can use that as well okay I now, must have two two verbs must I have okay yeah I must I'm, have mm -hmm. I am in need of. Ah, yes, I'm in need of. You can also use other words with need. In need of. Okay, that works. Okay, I need to get as well. I need to get. Okay, you can also say I gotta. Mm -hmm. I gotta get. I gotta get some eggs, some toothpaste, uh, some cereal. Okay, uh, gotta I get. I need more. I need more. Yes, I need more uh, dish detergent. Okay, peanut butter. Okay, things like that. I need more. Okay, good. Yeah. So this isn't the only way to say you need more of something. Okay, I need some bread. That's very plain. Okay, I gotta get. I need more. I'm in need of. Okay, those are some good uh, good phrases, you guys. Okay, um, all right. How about this uh, this next one here? This is for uh, Zoran. Please read this uh, group of questions. Uh, can I get anything for you? Do you need anything? Would you let me to pick up anything for you? Okay. All right. So let's talk about this. Um, when uh, um, in most languages, you have formal and informal, right? Okay. If uh, if you are uh, you're with uh, uh, you're with someone that that you know um, um, a little bit, you're not uh, extremely familiar with them, okay? And uh, they go to the store. They would probably say, "Would you like me to pick pick up anything for you?" This is pretty formal, you guys. Okay. Um, now uh, it would still uh, it would still be a kind way to say that. Now, uh, for example, uh, Igor here. Igor has been coming to my classes since I started here. From what I remember, he was he was one of the first guys in my classes. Yeah, right? it's true. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Igor from from Moldova. Okay, I remember this. <laughs> and cool. uh, so. Even even though he's been coming to my classes a bit, let's say that uh, my family takes a vacation to Moldova and Igor invites us over to uh, his house, okay? And we're there. So even though uh, Igor and I, we know each other a little bit here online, okay? We're not best of friends, 
All right, we're friends, but we're not we're not buddy old pals or anything like that. Um, we would still treat each other that way. We'd say uh, uh, if I was going to the store, I'd say uh, Igor, I'm going to the store. Would you like me to get anything? Okay, and that's that's a form of respect. It's a it's a it's a it's a formal way. Okay, now my brother. Okay, my brother is my best friend. Okay, I love my brother. Okay, me and him. Okay, we treat each other differently. Okay, I would say, hey, I'm going to the store. You want anything? Okay, and you'd say, yeah, get me some. All right, so we treat each other just a little differently. All right, with Igor and his family, uh, I would say, would you like me to get you anything from the store? All right, just a little bit more friendly and more formal with my brother. Okay, I'm going to the store. You want something? Yeah, you want something? Okay, I'm going to, yeah, grab me a, okay? And so we use a little bit more of street language and a little bit more informal language, okay? So these uh, these examples that we have here are uh, are pretty formal. So can I get anything for you? Uh, a little less formal, okay? Do you need anything? little less formal but still formal all right uh, we would probably say yeah you need anything and we would drop off do instead of saying do you need anything yeah you need anything okay um, instead of saying would you like me to pick something up for you or pick anything up now we can uh, um, we can change out anything with something okay and that would work just fine do you need but something uh -huh. But yes. if I would talk with uh, someone uh, from um, job um, without do you need uh, anything, uh, this is uh, correct grammatically or this is incorrect? If they are your co-worker, okay, if it's your boss, uh, you probably want to, to treat them a little bit more formal. Okay, do you need anything? Okay, something like that. Mm -hmm. If it's a co-worker, if it's your, your friend that you work closely with, you would you would be a little bit more informal with them if that is what your relationship is. Okay, but okay. this is grammatically correct to exclude uh, do. No, it's not grammatically <laughs> correct. All right. Uh, yeah, so we uh, we we drop things off all the time. Okay, so it would not be grammatically correct to drop off do. But do we say it? Yes. Okay, and if you're if you're in the United States or in other places, you uh, you would hear people uh, do that quite often. It's the same thing in Spanish. Okay, uh, go and listen to someone from the Dominican Republic or from Cuba or from Puerto Rico. Holy cow! All right, they they cut and chop their words into pieces, right, and they kind of mush things together. All right, I'm sure in uh, in other countries. They do the same thing where they have a little bit diff of a different accent and they kind of mush their words together. Okay, so that it's a, it's common in in uh, in many cultures, very common. Okay, uh, all right, let's uh, let's check out uh, our our next one. So, um, uh, can I get you anything here? Let's go to Andrea. Um, please read this next group of of sentences. Okay. I need some bread. I'm out of bread. I don't have any bread. I'd like some bread. Could you get me some bread? Okay, good, good. Yeah, so we have I need, I'm out of. Okay, could you get me? All right, you can also say, can you pick me up some? I have a question with that pick up. So pick uh -huh. up is not only to it, there's only there's one thing in the ground and I pick up from the ground. Pick up is like get. Yes, it would be like get. Okay. okay. Now the other way that it can be used, Mario, is to um, uh, get a girl. Okay. Okay. So I picked up the girl at the dance club. Okay. Where did you guys meet? I picked her up at the dance club. Picked. Okay. That doesn't mean you you picked her up and you walked out with her. Okay, mm -hmm. or or you went and grabbed her and took her with you. No, you talked to her and you're like, "Hey, baby, my name's this. What's your name? You want to dance <laughs> with me? Sure, let's go and do this." Okay, <laughs> so that's uh, that would be like uh, to pick up the girl. 
okay? So yeah, we have three different uses for it, okay? Pick something up, okay? To go and get something, all right? And then to meet, uh, meet a girl. Same thing with a, a girl towards a guy. She can pick you up. Okay, meaning that she got your interest, you guys started talking, and now now you're you're together. Okay, and, okay. and pick, pick in, I don't know, in some of the uses, a pick is uh, is not something like select, select from um, different options. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> you could uh, in uh, the draft pick. So, uh, so if you're talking about uh, basketball or football, um, American football or um, uh, baseball, something like that, they have what's uh, what's called the uh, draft, okay, uh, where they pick certain players, okay, and that would be like picking up. It would be that that sort of uh, sense, okay? okay, to where you're you're selecting, okay, you're selecting and you're 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 pulling it out of a group. Okay. okay, so that's it. It would be the same sense, just a little different. I mean, it, this would be pick up where you're lifting something up. Okay, but to pick, yeah, you'd be uh, uh, um, pulling something out of a group. Okay, pick. Okay. Okay. Good questions. Okay. Um, all right. So um, I'm out of this. Uh, can you pick me up some? Can you pick me up some? Can you pick up some? You can leave off me as well. Can you pick up some strawberries? Okay. Now, uh, again, if you're going to the example of my brother, I would say, yeah, get me some. Okay. Get me some or bring me some. Okay, or bring me a like if I needed a Coke Zero. Yeah, uh, bring me a Coke Zero. Or get me a Coke Zero. All right. So, but that's not being rude. Now, if I do that when I go and visit Igor. Okay, it's like I'm commanding him though. Okay, so if I'm over at Igor's house and he says, "Hey, Chad, I'm going to the store. Would you like me to pick you up something?" Yeah, get me a Coke Zero. Okay, it's like I'm, I'm like, you're gonna do this or else. All right. So it sort of changes, changes that. But if you're, you're really good friends with them, okay, you can say that, and it, you're not being rude. We can okay. see, uh, uh, say, play, uh, please. Get, uh, uh, yeah, get me please. some, please. Yeah, get me some, please. Still, it's a, it's a little rough if I don't know you that well. Okay, could, I would say could, you could, get me soon. could, yes. If you add could there, perfect. Okay, okay. Uh, could you get me a Coke Zero, please? That would be just fine. Okay, could, but if could, I, you, if, mm -hmm. could you possibly get me some Coke? <laughs> there you go, yeah. Could you possibly? <laughs> okay, yeah, could you possibly get me a Coke? All right, and that would, uh, that would be uh, just fine. Okay, but if I chop that up and just say get me, all right, it's got to be really close friends that know that you're not uh, being a jerk, okay? Because uh, you don't want you don't want to do that. And if I said that over at uh, Igor's house or whatnot, I'd be being a real jerk, and that wouldn't be very nice. Or you can okay? emphasize, get me some coke now. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this second. Yeah. Move it. Uh, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I wanted to 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 uh, um, uh, yeah discuss that just a little bit because that that can be a hairy situation, um, especially when you go and do a favor for someone, like going and picking them picking up something from the store. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now tomorrow, you guys, I'll I'll be talking about actual uh, grocery shopping. Okay, so we'll take a look inside of the store, things that, that we can ask when we're there. Um, so yes, that's going to be my lesson tomorrow. So we've created our, our shopping list, okay, and, uh, and we're going to go to the store tomorrow and uh, do some shopping. All right? All right, you guys. Thank you, Thank you very much. Um, my next class is a uh, um, beginning and intermediate um, uh, pronunciation class. So we'll be reading through uh, some short stories and working on our pronunciation there. Okay. All right, you guys.